Some of you come from a home where your dad got it twisted. He, he was in an affair and it led to a broken home and it set you up for a scenario where you got seized and your heart's been shattered. Maybe your mom got it twisted. Maybe you were in a church and that church got it twisted. It, 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 it turned into a personality cult or it started playing politics or it got it twisted and Maybe you had a spiritual hero and you really looked up to that person. It was a mentor, somebody that you respected, maybe even a youth minister or a pastor. And, and then something happened. He got it twisted. And it, and it opened you up to this place where that now you're really confused and you don't know how to make sense of what's happening. And you need to understand something. The Bible is clear that God is not the author of confusion. And what that means is that if God is not the author of confusion, then there must be an author of confusion. And that is one of the things that the enemy is going to constantly try to do is to try to bring in confusion because that's what confusion does. It gets people twisted. They don't know right from wrong. They start calling good evil and evil good. They sin and they don't even blush. They become completely confused about every aspect of their identity. Why? Because that's what the enemy does. He confuses people. He gets people twisted in their mind. And once they get twisted in their mind, they reach this place where they don't know how to make sense of what's happening around them. And so they become vulnerable to being seized and shattered. So what I'm preaching to you is not that you would ever be without problem or that there wouldn't be challenges. What I'm sharing with you is that when those challenges come, that God is not the author of your confusion. He's the author of your faith. And he's gonna get you in, he's gonna bring you through, and he's gonna bring you out. And when you stand on the other side of that, it will be hard to believe even that which he has done in your life because it will be so magnificent and so glorious.